Hi, welcome to Keep Us Creative Flow. We are on the final day of December. Remember? Oh my goodness. Okay. And the prompt is leather and ATC. Obviously, it's going to be faux leather, being vegan and all. Um, our animal is bird, and our I'll just write it in. Oh, where's it gone? Sorry, our fruit is courgette also known as zucchini is it double n or i think it's one n i can't be sure yep yeah. so this is our fruit for today and i know i had to work it out i had to look this up because i was like it's a vegetable surely but it's apparently not because it grows from seed um so it is actually because it grows from the flowering part of the plant that means it's a fruit and also um you can eat the blossoms of it it's good in potassium vitamin c folic acid and it's very hydrating because it's in the same family as um the cucumber so yeah so that's our final fruit for this series just gonna pop that to the side so what have we got ready we've got this amazing field guide to the bir to birds of britain and it is a reader's digest one i got it for £2.99 it was published in 1981 this is a reprint in 1997 but i'm just going to give you a quick peek because it is absolutely so if you're looking for like images and you're not sure where to start if you're brand new to junk journaling look for field guide um, any field guides or um, nature related thing like books so yeah so I'm actually I want to keep this all intact so I'm going to keep this as a reference to either sketch from uh, or even photo like use it in a different way like maybe photocopy a picture and then color it in because it is just it's too precious so that i'm gonna i can't do it i can't do it so um i oh know i need I, I probably will one time but not now is not the time and it says here <coughs> sorry it says here atc and that is an artist trading card and they're usually about like a small size so this one just for your knowledge is four inches by two and a half so i think barbara was saying that hers is three and a half inches so a quarter of inch less that way but i just find that's way too small um so it is just for me so i'm gonna just go with this four inch by two and a half yeah and then the faux leather we're going to use some of this gorgeous um dressmaking tissue paper but also i've just splattered some coffee um just on this clean so it's colombian instant dry dry freeze-dried instant coffee and this is from lidl shop middle so yeah just a bit of water and then splattered that on so use that and also use this as a thing <laughs> and this challenge how can i be forgetting i've been saying it every single video um has been hosted by barbara from 49 dragonflies and louisa heinzel from junk journal art and if you haven't checked out their channels please do you'll get lots of inspiration um especially if you're starting out in this journey they have a lot of um they basically have concise videos not like here like this is this is a kind of craft along with me kind of videos because i don't do any editing so yeah you if you want something quick snappy then definitely over there yeah they're very professional you're gonna love it um 
so yeah so that's that i'm just gonna pop that to the side another find that i found for two pound from a charity shop was this gorgeous greeting birds greeting card book and look in here so these are the designs at the back let me give you the isbn i don't know if you can still get hold of it it is nine seven eight one eight four three nine seven nine three nine and five and it is lovely gordon gordon benningfield and it was published in 2007 but some of the pictures in here like this could just be used as a single image but however it's just not going to work with this project so sorry i can't use you i might be able to use use you in um junk journal january maybe so yeah unfortunately they're just too large larger image but this is like the front picture of the woodpecker absolutely stunning and even this whole um like setup with the magnetic closure and these so once all this is finished inside or used this can actually be a junk journal which i'm very very excited about and it's got like folders yeah so it can totally be upcycled and reused so i'm just going to pop that to the side because it's too big and then this final one which i have been diving into the whole time this is like my go-to the living world of nature this is by collins 1961 has she got it right? No, 1962. <laughs> I will get it right. Um, so these are my options. So I've got these. And I think the hummingbird looks gorgeous there. Even this one with the nests. But it will take up quite a lot of the page. So I'm not sure whether to do that. Or there's another one on page 55. Oh, 55, 55. Um, which are these gorgeous canary, cardinal birds. They are stunning and they probably are one of the smallest. So they could be used as part of the image. But instead of that today, I'm actually going to be using this. <laughs> I know. I, I went through all of that stuff and I'm like, I'm going to be using this. Um, it's do crafts paper mania nature's valley nature's gallery i'm going to put my teeth in soon and this is yeah do crafts.com so yeah so it's got a few other things in there as well very cute like decoupage style but this is what i'm after the birds one so i'm just going to pull that out okay we're going to cut some of it off anyway so let's just Pop that to the side right so this is just an upcycled card actually i might just do it on this side oh my goodness last session and we haven't turned the candle on what am i like Ta -da! <laughs> okay so back to business so i've got this napkin art glue which is I-Z-Z-I-I, -I, the company. Um, and it's going to be thin enough for me to adhere whatever I want on it, really. So I'm going to pop this here. So I'm going to... Oh, let's have a little look. So I'm just going to miss the edges there. I'm going to go in the centre to... It's very thin. Actually, why don't you just put... I swear it's quite late at night and I'm normally in bed by now sorry so sorry but I was like I've stuck with this prompt these prompts this whole way through I can't I can't leave it for this last prompt I can't I just can't do it so yeah probably a bit too watery to use for that but that's okay it's done now and then just thinking shall I add this over it so this is just some tie dyed not tie dyed coffee dyed napkin 
Shall we go with this lines? With these lines. So let's grab the plain section actually. do what um, Louisa and Barbara did in their videos which is scrunch up the scrunch up the um, tissue paper onto the card to make it to make it appear leather like once it dries basically I'm just going to pop that on there oh, that's probably not a good idea to connect <laughs> too late, too late. And we're just gonna uh, try and scrunch this well, well enough. Hopefully, it will soak up this glue. Okay, that's probably a bit much, but. <laughs> We're going with it for now. Make sure we cover all our bits and bobs. You guys are doing all right. During your day or evening or afternoon. Okay, we can cut around afterwards. I'm just wondering, should I? Hmm, I'm just thinking if I should dry this. I'm just going to pop this one over the top as well while the glue is wet. This might help soak up more of the, because it's quite thin, this napkin glue. Let's just torn that off, good. So thin it's coming off. Oop. I'll have to go over it a tiny bit. So we're gonna have to let me just grab I've just got a cereal packet here and I should have done this before. Sorry. Pop that on there. Let me put that this way, then we can work on this side. Just wondering if I do. Just pop that there. <clears throat> Thinking, shall I use some of this as a something for the tree, just as an interest piece? Let's ink this up. Oops. In fact, let's um, file it down first. Some really tiny weeny little birds in as well. I think that's why I thought I'd use this. I've got so many other birdy things, but I've gone for simplicity, I think. I might take a layer off as well. Let's take a layer of this. 
harder. And we've got another tree. <laughs> we can use that somewhere else. Two trees. <laughs> well, a tree outline-ish kind of thing. Awesome. Now, I'm just thinking, shall I get the Fabri-Tac for this? Just make sure it sticks. gosh it's like i squeeze as hard as i can and look what's coming out tiny dot oops <laughs> let's get ready for you <laughs> you're tiny but mighty aren't you tiny but mighty i'm just gonna stick that there might just squeeze that in a tiny bit Oh, you were going to think that? <laughs> I'm really, I'm diverted really easily, aren't I? Oh, you don't need this one. Sorry. Terrible. Still sticky, nope. Is that quick? It sometimes dries. Let's really squeeze it. Come on. Yep, that's good. Okay, we'll probably save something else. Just thinking, should I add a bit of. Let's add a bit of this as well. Oh gosh. Ink. Are we using Distress Ink Vintage Volto by Tim Holtz? Band something star stretching across the night sky. That sounds nice. This is just a dictionary page. An old dictionary. Actually, my own dictionary from school. Well, we a shared one, kind of. Actually, let me go over a bit, it just gives it more interest. And then, just thinking, should I go in with some, this grey? See what the other side looks like. It's drying a bit, but not enough. I'm just going to pause the video and use my heat tool to see if this dries a bit faster. Okay, give me a moment. So we're back. Um, so the back is dry now. Just blasted it with a heat gun. I'm just going to go in with the vintage photo for distressing this as well. front of this note card and then just 
gonna I'm gonna cut it back down to the ATC card shape. Let's have a look. Where's the big scissors? Oh no, we're gonna cut the tree off. Uh oh. We're about to cut the head of the <laughs> we'll have to go around it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, tree. Ah, oh, that's cool. It stayed. Then we've got this. And finally this. And that could be these could be used somewhere else. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in with the um black soot this time. Distress oxide. I'm just gonna go around the edges just to pick up the colour of the birdies. follow me on Instagram um, I haven't actually taken photos of the finished products for Instagram yet so I will be doing that I'm just gonna darken where the birds are standing oops to look interesting cool um, yes I will be doing that as well promise that is a task of mine this year or next year <laughs> soon to be next year right um yes i was gonna go back into this so i've got here gloss touch which is a pebio i'm hoping this works i don't because i know the other ones have worked so but oh yeah it's coming out slowly hopefully the whole lid won't pop off I'm just going to put my body weight on it. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Come on. It's giving off like droplets. Crickets. I'm just going to take off the, this lid bit. Might be just started. Yeah, it's getting dry a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Clogged is the word. Clogged. Let's see what we can get out. Because I really want to use this to pick up the... um. Faux, faux leather effect it's like a nice brown oh yeah that's probably the right consistency actually oh can't believe how long these products last if you look well i suppose you don't even have to look after them but they do really last a long time okay that's probably a large spudge let me just put it on here giving off a lot of colour isn't it oh that's coming out really cool okay I want to take off some of this bit Don't know how to do that now. Should have gone in light with it, shouldn't I? Oh, it's coming undone now. One second. I'm being heavy handed with it. Okay. Okay, what we could do is put just like a little card on there. Should we want some of that on this side just so it matches? Where can we put it? We could put it over the whole thing gonna use a tiny dot
really like how that's turned out. I'm just thinking I need to write my quote as well. Right. Um, and it's a big quote, so I'm thinking, you know, this bit, which I'm not too happy about. Maybe we could fold up some paper. Just grab... A birdie. If you don't know if you saw this in one of the other videos, but look how cute this birdie is. Birdie tray, hand carved, and it was one pound from a cat's protection charity shop. How beautiful! So I'll just drop something. I'll find it later. <laughs> I was thinking I could use this, but I want to use this as a central feature. Mm really got no blue in it has it really well maybe we could use just this edge let's go for this edge of the writing paper type thing but unless uh, we still have some of that other paper left could use this the planner paper so it could be like this and then this maybe and then just attach there And this could be decorated afterwards as well, couldn't it? Like this outer bit. I say we get writing on the inside now. And then attach it with a paper clip. That sounds like a plan. Actually, we could have this packaging um, tape. Maybe that can go on there. Oops. That's kind of a... That will also give it like a leathery look will go with the theme this is just recycled packaging hopefully it will still fold <laughs> squish it up squish it up squish it up and um, okay, I'm just gonna move that over a tiny bit so it looks the same oh goodness Right, um, look at my hands. Okay, so we're gonna fold, fold, and then we can fold and then click here. Okay, all the other around. Okay, so our quote for today is, um, I'm just wiping my hands actually. Try to anyway. rinse that off <laughs> that's it good this has been in the wash by the way <laughs> a couple of times right so I quote so I'll just start on this side and it is in the melody of Rag Gauri which is the style of song that it's written in. Uh, the, the hymn is written in. And then it is written by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And then this is within Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, who is the living Guru of the Sikhs. And it is on Ang. One five two, which means limb, and then the quote is at night, oops, at night, 
lots of birds settle on the tree oh sorry full stop full stop um some are happy comma and some are sad full stop caught in the desires of the mind they perish full stop and when the night wrong when the life when the life when the life night comes to its end Then they look to the sky. They fly away in all ten directions. According to their pre ordained destiny, we'll close that, and then it's um, it's actually a verse with three other sections to it, and the inspiration from it came from this little book. How cute is that bird? so cute and it's got like little quotes in there and then this one was from so it's actually got the meaning as well on this side so i am going to just quickly add that in um as well so it says um so the meaning like the main message of this um actually shall we write in viral so just makes it a bit different Sorry, lost everything here. Um, so it says, <clears throat> We live in a planet of many souls, like birds on a tree. Comma, we fly into the vast limitless sky to continue our spiritual spirit spiritual journey control the whims of the mind and allow your soul to feel this freedom now just thought that was so beautiful it's so beautiful oh my goodness it's so beautiful okay um so let's just grab our ATC. This is an ATC artist trading card. 
I'm just going to grab a paper clip. So you know like it talks about 10 directions, so like they fly in all 10 directions. I'm thinking maybe you could add a little 10 somewhere. I've got this ancient calendar. Just thinking, should I just pull out the 10? Or do a bit more of the numbers actually. And then we can just put some of that stuff on there. Off and on, off and on. <laughs> okay, just gonna vintage photo that very last. Might just stick it on with. She could put it there. Yeah, let's put it behind. Yes. Okay, so now... Gee, I'm just going to go directly with the, this pad onto here. So if you, were, if you did have some packaging tape, you could do it like this as well. You know, the foam effect. Just go for it. That looks cool. Okay, so so we're gonna fold, fold, and eek, fold, and then we'll just place this here. Let's go on this side. So. Thinking, shall we just use? Uh, got any? I don't think I've got any copper style ones. Maybe we just use the heart. Let's just use the heart here. Go over the tree. There we go. And that is our prompt. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't believe it's the end. I will do a flip through, but it's only a flip through of the different ephemera, unfortunately, um, because my sewing machine is still at getting a service. And they said sometime in January, so I'll have to find out when. Um, but I will show you exactly what I've got and the journal that I'm hoping to create um, with the fabric that I've got. Or the bag that I've got. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, take care for now. Bye.